What's up guys? So welcome to this YouTube channel. We are now going to create a YouTube video tutorial for you guys. Um, for aspiring WordPress developer and for those who are looking a good plugin for creating a multi-step form. Yes, we were going to create a multi-step form uh, using the popular plugin which is the AR forms. So right now I'm in the back end of the wordpress and i am viewing adding i am currently adding a new form so if you install the plugin ar forms just go to ar forms at the left top corner and then click add form this one here and uh, you will see this um front end or back end UI okay so uh, let's name our form for example we'll just simply create multi step form AR forms then you can sim add a description here if you want so let's just um, leave it as is and then we'll you want to choose a theme for your forms you can choose standard funded and material so we'll just try to choose material style so this is some sort of um, google material layout so right now i'm going to choose the blank so there's a lot of pre-selected or pre-made template for forms so we'll just choose blank form and hit continue so you will see this one here now this one here at the left corner is the form elements and at the right corner you will see the option and settings or you can also do some custom CSS if you want to modify your uh, mm, form so that's it so right now we have a blank page and if you want to rename this you can just click you can also add a description so this is just a demo we'll just now create a multi-step form so uh, the first thing we need to do is of course we just want to as a name like that you can also click this one as a required so once you click that you'll see a required asterisk so if you want to click a setting change the field description or you want to put a placeholder and you can set minimum and maximum field characters and you can also choose validation or if you want alphabet only so you will ensure that the uh, user input in the form is not a robot or to avoid spam so as you can see now name and then we will just try to uh, ask them their email address so this is the basic one and then we will need to require that as well as you can see then let's see then we'll put that in the placeholder and let's confirm email so if you want to ensure that the email is uh, real you can check this one and then click ok the next thing you need we need to do is um for example we want website url then we want this to go to next form so just simply go and find the element page brick here and then drag it here okay so if you want to customize that one just click the settings here 
and then you will see this one so form okay so firstly it is step one okay and then you can also um, modify the button next and previous click ok then the second page the multi-step we want them to uh, put this one multi text oops make sure you drag this one below at the page break and then we want them number and then let's say a like button okay and then we want them to do a page break again so this is a third page as you can see we'll just check the settings so make sure you change this one here and click ok then again we need to ask them another information for, or any information you want them to fill in and then you have also your drop down and also you have the file upload if you want to have the file upload then next is the fourth page so so right uh, for now we will just um, uh, do a three step so we'll just click save okay so by the way this is a wordpress plugin so if you want to preview the uh, forms you are uh, you created just click this one icon here the eye icon and you will see that you can view the form in different screen sizes so it will automatically adjust so let's see and try it now. So there's test me one. Let me just try to test me at gmail.com and then let's see test me dot com and just click next. Oops, entered a value is invalid. So as you can see we only need to uh, input a real name so since we put a verification of that so the only characters you need to input there is alphabet so just click next Oops. and let's see okay so we're in the step two we'll just try to input something here and uh, one two three four five six seven eight nine zero then like five then next and the radio and so on so that's it so we'll just submit and it will redirect to wherever you want it to look. so for example we have here fans form you can uh, submit button settings as you can see you can modify the button design the alignment so on so forth so you can also check the submit action here so um, i have a viewers asking me to sh if we can view a summary of all the inputted data on uh, all forms all step in these forms so just go here click the submit action and here you will see a configure conditional submission or you can also show confirmation summary so this is just click this one so what do you want here to display is you want to display a summary before submitting the form or after submitting the form so we don't want this one here because we need it here so the user can uh, edit their information if they want to so if they have a some information that is misinputted 
so we can also we can configure an SMS here then send to admin or to user and then input this one you can test then since we are just going to show the summary let's just click OK then hit save so this plugin is very powerful I think this is a good form than the double uh, I mean than the WP forms that I used before so what I love on this form is that they have a summary display which we will show you here so for example Brian test Brian at gmail.com then Brian Dot com for example and then click next oops sorry for that okay and then let's just input the test so that and then click next so this is the final step so anyway you can add more step if you want you can also customize this step CSS here using the custom CSS on the right corner so right now we'll just click submit and the summary data the user input it will shown here as you can see uh, there's no uh, label here so uh, we will just um, edit again let's just say here and then we want that to be name and no we'll just click none for the verification then click ok then let's try again to view now let's try again brian brian at gmail.com brian.com and click next the number like next so this is very uh, useful forms form plugins as you can see it is now so you can also add it here so I will just um, remove that one so you will know how to edit or configure that one so that's it and uh, if you have any question you can leave a comment below on this video don't forget to subscribe on my channel for this for the next youtube videos of, or tutorial videos of, for wordpress and for more um, tutorial on this ar forms plugin so thanks for watching guys and bye for now